Hi there. So in a clinical trial um, called the STAR-D trial, the gold standard treatment with medication for depression, a third of um, people in those trials achieved total remission, and but two thirds remained clinically depressed. And about 67% <clears throat> 67% do not remain well, and 50 to 85% will have recurrent depression. So that's kind of like the gold standard of treatment of depression with medication. And so not very promising for most people. And this is not uncommon. You know, medication and therapy does not work for everyone. Some people do benefit from it greatly, but there's many people that continue to struggle with depression and not have their symptoms their not have their symptoms alleviated. And so in this video, I'm going to compare the standard treatment for depression with antidepressants of any kind and um, walking. So uh, before we get into that, and I will give you some interesting stats on walking and the benefits of walking. I just want to take a moment at, to welcome you. Uh, I am Nesaret. I am a holistic mental health advocate with 17 years of service as a psychiatric nurse in the conventional system. I help you to navigate the current mental health system without losing your sanity. And as you implement metabolic therapies and um, take charge of your mental health. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button below and join our community. And if you're already subscribed, I want to thank you. Please um, like and share this channel with those who would benefit. And that way um, more people can be, more people would benefit from this content. <clears throat> All right, so what is the story on um, walking as opposed to that conventional uh, medication treatment for depression. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, walking 45 minutes four to five times per week has been proven to be more effective than um, any uh, treatment with antidepressants, including SSRIs which stands for uh, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. So in layman's word, what that means is that these medications allow the increase of serotonin in your brain, okay? So, and they're one of the standard sort of first line treatment for depression. And walking 45 minutes four to, time, four to five times a week has been proven to be as effective, if not more effective, than treatment with antidepressants. Um, now, <laughs> a little story. My grandparents, um, my grandfather died when he was 97. And just a month before he died, he was still walking to church. He was still reading with glasses. He uh, was independent and he walked pretty much every day. And my great grandfather, uh, my grandfather's father on the same side, he lived to be 117. And likewise, independent, walked every day, um, did, um, you know, eat, ate healthy. And um, so I love walking as well. Um, in the past few years, I've been walking anywhere from five to seven kilometers a day, and I love it. I love walking by the ocean, hiking, and doing all those things. So the benefits of walking is that it is free, it doesn't cost you anything, um, it's good for your mind to clear your mind, to think creatively, it's a mindful kind of um, activity, and it allows you to be in nature, it allows you to receive sunlight, and which sets your circadian rhythm. And there's a ton of research on the benefits of walking for cardiovascular health, for 
your joints, for weight loss, for um, all kinds of things. Like walking is, I would say, one of the most perfect exercises. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's one of the most perfect exercises, you know, as nature intended. Um, and our bodies are made to move. That, that is what our ancestors did. They didn't sit in front of the computer all day. They walked around, they moved around. And so there is a huge benefit to that. And I would even add walking in nature if you can do that, whether if you're living close to water or going into the woods and just being in nature, that's also really soothing for the soul. So what I would recommend if you're struggling with depression, you're any kind of mental health issue really, or even if you're not just, you know, it, this is beneficial for anyone and everyone, but I would just make it a goal to start walking, even if it is once or twice a week initially, and then increase it to three times a week. I know when I started walking um, more seriously, sort of consistently, I got a, um, I downloaded a step counter app and it just somehow kind of motivated me more to just track how many uh, kilometers I was walking and also to be a little bit more consistent with it. And the app that I downloaded, I'll put a link uh, on the description below. It allow it gives you a challenge every month, different types of challenges. And so I found that was really motivating for me to, to have that. So I just wanted to share that with you for today. Um, please comment below and let me know your experiences with walking and if it has helped you with, if it has helped you with depression or like any benefit that you have experienced, I would love to hear about that. And um, again, I thank you for visiting and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.